Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel Restaurant Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to let the user see the food that they added to their cart. So for it, what we are going to do is that we are going to show a cart option and we will only show the cart option here when the user is logged in. So for it, let's go back to our code and we will directly go to resource, then views, inside views we have the home folder and inside home we have the index.blade.php and here you can see include home.headers so whatever you are seeing over here at the top header over here is coming from the header.blade.php so let me just go to my uh, home folder then header.blade.php and here you can see that uh, we have the blog option and here you can see you have the logout option and we have write a condition if route has login only then we are showing the logout option if the route doesn't have any login then we are showing the login and register option so what we are going to do is very simple uh, let me just copy this li tag for login and after this auth we are going to paste the li tag and here instead of login we are going to say here card and we are going to write a route for the card so I'm just going to remove the HF for now. So just write this before the logout option and inside this on. Okay. So right now, if we just set this and if we now refresh here, then you can see we have an option called cart over here. And this option will only show when the user is logged in. If I just log out from here, it will not show us that cart option. So let me just log in. Uh, let me say here test at the of gmail.com. And I'll give the password, click on login. And there you can see it is now showing us the card option. So Audion is that when you click on this card option, it will take us to another phase where we'll be able to see all the product that we added to the card. For it, let's go back and here in this HM, we're going to give to second bracket. Then we'll say here URL to first bracket. Then do single quotation. And inside this, let's say our URL name will be my underscore card. You can name it anything. After that, you need to create a route for this. So let's go to our routes, then web.php. And I'm just going to copy this route, control C, then control V. So the route will be get, not post. And our route name was my underscore card. So I'm going to say here my underscore card and we do not need the id here we'll use the home controller and the function name will be let's say my underscore card so right now we need to go to the home controller and create this function so let's go to app http controller and here you can see home controller so we'll just actually go down then we're going to say here public function my underscore card then to first bracket then to second bracket so from here we are going to return a simple read so let's say here return view and let's say the view name will be uh view will be in the phone folder and the view name will be my underscore card so uh let's end this with the semicolon and save this so we don't have my underscore card in the home folder so we are going to print that file over here so let me just right click on the home folder then click on new file and the file name will be my underscore card draw blade dot php press enter and there you can see this is our my underscore card dot blade dot php so let's say here symbol html and in the body let's say card page if we now save this then refresh here then click on card it will take us to this space where it says card paste. So first of all, here we're going to have this header option. So for it, all you need to do is that we need to go to our phone, index.blade.php and I'm going to copy everything from here, control A, control C. Then we'll go to our mycard.blade.php I'm going to paste it over here. And here I'm only keep the uh, header six Era section and home.css section and the footer section. Except those, you are going to remove the about gallery, book, and blog section from here. So if we now set this, then refresh here and click on card. 
There you can see we have only the header and the footer section here. Okay, we do not want to see this hero image. So what we are going to do is uh, instead of directly including home dot header, we are going to copy some code from the home dot header. So let me just go to uh, header dot blade dot php and I'm just going to copy the nav first. So here you can see the nav first started from here. So I'll just copy it up until this part. Here you can see nav in there over here. So control C. Then uh, let me go to mycart.blade.php and I'm going to remove the header and the footer, both of them. And I'm just going to paste it, whatever I just copied from the header.blade.php, only the nav part. So right now, if we save it, uh, then refresh here there you can see we only have the nav part over here so here we are going to have a table over here where we will show the product in the cart so for it what we are going to do is after the nav tag we are going to mention a div in this div we are going to have a table so let's mention the table tag here so we are going to say here table Inside this table, we are going to have some table row and table data. So uh, for it, first of all, we are going to set tier tag. Inside that tier tag, we are going to have the table header. So let's say we'll show the food title, food price, quantity, and image. So let's say here, food title. Then let me say here, th again. And I'm just going to copy this th and paste it three times so after food title we have the food price then the quantity quantity then this will be the food image let's just say here image and this one is not necessary so after the table header we are going to have table data so here we are going to mention another tr then td table data for now let's just say a b c d and I'm going to copy this and paste it three times. If you now save this, then refresh here. So here you can see that table is showing over here at the top, full total price like this. So we want to show it over here. So for it, what we are going to do is that we'll go back to the code and we'll go to our index.blade.php and here you can see of the gallery section. Uh, let me just show you the gallery image is showing in the middle so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to copy that class on the gallery so let me just go to home folder then gallery.blade.php and here you can see uh, divide gallery class text center bg text slide okay so i'm just going to copy this and we'll go to our mycart.blade.php and over here you can see the div so for this div we're going to say id gallery and class this one so after it, just save it. And if we now just uh, click on card, they can see it will show us like this. The food title, price, quantity, image, which we have some default data. And this still doesn't look like a table. So we can make it look like a table. For it, we need to write some CSS for that table, the T tag and the TD tag. So let's go and first write some CSS for the table. So for it, we'll get the top. And inside the head section, we're going to say here style. In the style, let's mention the table tag. For the table tag, we're going to say margin. Uh, let's say it will be 40 pixel. Then we're going to mention the border. It will be on PA solid sky blue. So let me just send this. And if we now just refresh here, they can see it will look like this. The background is sky blue right now. So right now what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to write some CSS for the TH tag, then the TD tag. For it, let's go at the top again. And let me just add one more thing that is padding. Uh, padding will be 40 pixel as well for the table. Then we're going to mention the TH tag. So for the TH tag, we're going to say padding, it will be 10 pixel let's say here text align center and background color background color it will be 
sky blue or let's say red and the text color will be white and the text will be bold so let's say here font weight it will be bold save it then let me just refresh and i guess it will look like this and for the uh, table data let's just say padding 10 px so let's say here td padding it will be 10 pixel and also mention the text color it will be white i think that is fine so here you can see there is some padding so if you want some space over here what we are going to do for it is that let me just mention a uh, br tag over here after after the nav so let me mention the br you will create some line gap so let me just copy and paste it few times save it refresh and there you can see so each of those static data we want to show the data from the database table from the card table for a specific user so for it what we need to do is let's go back and right now we will go to our phone controller and from here we are returning to the view bomb dot card so what we are going to do is that we are going to declare a variable here let's say dollar data equal to we need to measure our card table name here so we are going to say here card this is the model name then we need to give to double quotation then we need to say here find why find because we want to show the data from the card table for a specific user for it, uh, we need to get the specific logged in user ID. So, how can we get the logged in user ID? This is really simple. Let's say dollar user underscore ID equal to we are going to mention all ones. Then we'll give to first bracket. Then this arrow sign will say here user again to first bracket. Then this arrow sign will say here ID. So what this will do is that it will get the logged in user ID from the user table. And here you can see currently a user is logged in. So it will get the logged in user ID using the auth function and store it in this user underscore ID variable. And uh, right now what we are going to do is that we are just declaring a variable dollar data equal to our card model name find. We want to find this ID. So we we'll just say here dollar user ID. Uh, actually, uh, we need to write a where condition, not this one. So let me say here card where and inside this where condition, we need to give two single quotation. Then we need to mention this user and user ID from the card table. So here against the column name is user ID in the card table. So we are going to mention that over here. So we are going to say user ID. Then we will give a comma, then two single quotation, inside it we will give a equal sign, then another comma, and after that we are going to mention this dollar user ID. So we will mention here dollar user ID, then we will give, give this arrow sign and we will say here gain. So what this will do is that for this user ID, it will get the data from the card table. So the logged in user ID is 3. So the user that is logged in, his login ID is 3. Uh, let me just show you. If I just go to the user's table, there you can see for the test user, the ID is 3. And if you go to the card table, there you can see the ID matches. So it will show us those two data. So right now, what we are going to do is that we are going to send this dollar data variable to this view. So for it, we are going to send here compact to first bracket to single quotation it will be data so right now we are going to go to this view and using the dollar data we will be able to show the current data so let me just go to the mycurrent.plate.php and here before this tr we are going to mention at the top for each dollar data as dollar data and this for each loop will end over here so we we'll send here at the end of end for each so right now instead of abcd we are going to show the data from the table so for it we need to give to second bracket then we need to say here dollar data then this arrow sign and from the card table here you can see we are going to show the title 
quantity, image, and price. So first one is title. So I'm going to say here title, and I can just directly copy this. Then let me paste it over here. After title, we want to show the price. So I can just say here price. Then we'll say here quantity. And the last one will be image. And showing image is different as you already know. So we need to mention the image tag. Inside the image tag, first we need to mention about we store our image. We store our image in the public uh, food underscore image folder. So we are able to say here food underscore IMG slash we need to mention the dollar data image name. So we are going to say here image and let's also mention the width. Let's say width it will be 150. Let's save it. Then let me just refresh here and there you can see it is showing us the image. The food quantity food price and the food title for a specific user uh, and the user ID is 3 and the logged in user ID is also 3 so let me just log out and let me register a new user let me just click on register let's say here it will be user then user at the rate of gmail.com and let me give a random phone number a random address a password on two three four five six seven eight and on two three four five six seven eight click on register and then you can see to us the whole page and if we just put on the card then you can see our card is empty so right now let's go and add a product let's say we'll add this chicken so let's say here three click on add to card Product is added to the card, and if we now click on card, then you can see it is showing us chicken. It is also showing us price and the quantity as well. So before the price, let me just show the dollar sign. So here you can see price. So I'm just going to give the dollar sign here. Let me save it, then refresh, and there you can see it is showing us the dollar sign. So this is how you can show the data from the card table in Laravel. I hope this was easy for you to follow. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.